If you're looking to learn NumPy, which is the Python library um, for handling matrices and doing mathematical operations, uh, Effective Computation in Physics is definitely a book I would recommend, especially if you're new to um, Python and you work in um, research. Uh, here's the chapter on NumPy. Uh, you can see how it's laid out. And it really is a very comprehensive um, coverage, coverage of um, of uh, NumPy, the NumPy commands, and what you can do with NumPy. Uh, here we look at slicing and views, and it gives examples of how to slice uh, NumPy arrays. Uh, and uh, what else have we got on broadcasting? Broadcasting is a fantastic feature of uh, NumPy, and it's explained well here. Uh, what else do we have? Yes, fancy indexing is something you'll be doing a lot of, um, and you can you, know, you can reshape NumPy arrays, and it shows you how to do that, uh, and that's all very interesting. Masking is also very useful in some um, data analysis that you might do, uh, and it takes you through how to do that. You can apply Boolean operators, structured arrays, um, so you can see you get really quite a comprehensive guide, and then you get all the sort of mathematical operators that, um, or not all of them, but a lot of them, um, that you can use. Uh, here as a reference. So that is um, NumPy and that is how this book covers it. Uh, that's a good reason to get this book, the, the NumPy um, coverage, but another good reason, is, especially if you're, on you're working in research and you're new to Python, is it really is a very comprehensive guide to how to use Python in your research. Uh, not just Python as well, it covers LaTeX and file handling and, and all sorts of data visualization. Um, I've done a review of this book in its entirety, which is available uh, in the link that you'll see after this short video. If you've enjoyed this and it's been useful to you, please do subscribe and like the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.